The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Trade What You See with your host, Larry Pesavento. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. Uh, there's some... Uh reasons that uh, Larry won't be here for the rest of the week, so today I'm sitting in. My pleasure to be here. If you're not used to my work, let me just uh, find a chart, which will be, if you're looking at Tiger TV, oops, what happened over here? If you're looking at Tiger TV, uh, all you need to do is uh, go to uh, tiger.mobi, and you will go right there, and you'll see these charts live. I try to explain them as I'm talking. I've also been experimenting with different backgrounds. I still love to go to the black background. The, 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 everything pops out so much clearer, but I'm actually actually getting very used to the white background. Meantime, what, I, I, what I'm going to do is just follow by... A, I mentioned in my hour that I do, my Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock till noon, Tiger Technician's Hour at 877-927-6648. Then I would have a lightning round. I saw the lightning round. Didn't get to some of them um, because we ran out of time. I'd like to continue with that. But in the meantime, I need to do a couple of things since this is, uh, Larry always looks at the futures. I wanted to show the, the technique that um, it's really quite important in terms of uh, the Chapman Wave. If you're looking at the E-minis, there's just an easy way to do this. Look at the low that was formed on the 4th of June at 12.50. Uh, at 4 o'clock at 15, 4.15 in the afternoon, Eastern Time, at uh, 12.50.00. A beautiful doji candle. The, you see, if you're using my technique, and this is what I'll be teaching in the webinar, two-day live webinar that's coming up. All the information will be on this afternoon or tomorrow on TFNN front page. Uh, it will be beginning of December. You can use a Tiger Dolls. It will be just a really a, I love teaching these things. And the, you can see the charts. You can see I'm very visual. And it just it becomes much easier to do it this way. Well, in the Tiger, in the, the way that I look at the, the motivation for getting a buy signal has to be how you can do it visually. You can do it uh, with troughs that go down. You can do it price time matches, a whole bunch of other things. But if you also use the MACD, this is top one year, the moving average convergence divergence set at 12, 26, and 9. I know this is blasphemous. Larry never looks at my moving averages. I remember it must have been six years ago, yeah, about five, six, five, six years ago, we were giving presentation down in Florida, and I had just given my presentation and made a real big deal about moving averages. And I had said there's a particular moving average that you never have to use until it becomes important. In other words, it's just sitting there in the background. And it's called the 200-period exponential moving average, exponential EMA, rather than the simple moving average or the DMA. This is one that takes the price of the last close and then the look back period and and you have the nine period exponential moving average differential is based on that and i said that this is something that is so important in my work because you need you need not even look at it but as it's like a gap when it gets closer that gap will eventually get filled but as you're moving away from it don't even care don't even look at it so i made a big deal out i showed demonstrations of how many Dozens and dozens of times, major market moves were made <laughs> when the price hit that exact level. And then Larry came on, and I always like to sit in on these. Um, some some, some uh, of the hosts uh, like to just take a break, and, or they're busy and they're gone. I make sure that I'm there. I like to hear it. And I always say to people that who, who do the Chapman Way methodology, watch for peak Ds. Count the peaks on everything they show. Look for an E or an F or a rogue wave or whatever it is in the technique. And lo and behold, Larry says, I never... I never use these moving averages. And if you hear anyone who's talking about a moving average, like a 200-period moving average, run. Run as far as you can. And I could just feel the silence in the room. And I thought, hey, don't anybody be upset. Every, he's done fantastically using his own techniques. Why would he want to worry about a 200-period moving average? Not only that, he uses Gartley's and Tiger Gartley's. You know, I, I accept what people do, 
because they do it and it belongs to them. It is their thing, and they're able to utilize it over and over and over again to really do well in the long term. So do I, I couldn't care less. I actually spoke about it afterwards, and I said, you know, don't, don't feel bad. Don't get embarrassed for me. Or uh, what difference does it make to Larry? If I use it, it's like volume. I use volume specifically. I have just two ways of using volume. One of them is a way that I'm going to go into great, in great detail um, in my Master Trader Series Level 2. This is for those of you who've done Level 1, the two-day either live uh, one-on-one um, seminar that I do or the webinar that I do, did earlier this year, two days, Level 1. Um, so you have to have done that. And then you're coming to level two because we're ready to go to the next step, utilize these things in a much more efficient way and and, and a more dexterous way because like an instrument, you've already practiced, you've already gone to your your audition and now you're playing the part, you're in the orchestra. So uh, that is coming up Thursday, two weeks. That's on on March, um, March, October the 25th, Thursday at Babson Executive Conference Center. Fab, oh, the food, the food is worth going for. (laughs) <laughs> they have just the greatest restaurant. It's just a wonderful venue. We've been there so many times. Anyway, so Yen Wellesley, Massachusetts. So you've got if if you haven't done level one, but you've actually been using the Chapel Wave consistently, and you really understand, you'd like to come to the level two. Then I think you, you you've got to speak to me, and I suspect that I'll probably say yes. Um, but I'll, I'll have to see the efficiency. But basically, you really need to understand what we do uh, over those with the CD introducing the Chapel Wave methodology and all. So now um, what we're looking at is in the E-mini, it went to peak A, B, C, D, and it goes to the fourth highest peak. That's all I do. I could capital letters counting the waveforms. There was a positive divergence between the stochastic as the price came down to the last low of uh, on the fourth, on the sixth of on the 4th of, of June, and this, the MACD was starting to turn up, made a beautiful W formation, and it took you all the way to a peak D. At peak D is where you can expect the sharpest and longest pullback to occur, but that's not a guarantee. It just says at that point, that's where you've got to be careful. Well, what happens is there's a sharp pullback. It goes from 1368.75 on the 19th of July. Pow! It goes right down to 1314 on the 25th of July, and then it starts a brand new peak, A, B, C, D, but the MACD is still holding well. The fast-moving average and the stochastic goes to E, throws your candle, pulls back for 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 9 sessions, makes a low uh, at 1388.25, yeah, 1388.25 on the 30th of August, and then it runs up peak A, B, but there's something that's called the alternate wave count. So I had no choice to put the A as a gray A and a gray B, and the G, the very rare G, which I call a right arm extension, it goes up, it hits 1468, pulls back, makes an arch formation, retests at 1466, round number high, can't get to the 1468 round number high of the 14th of September. That's a cup formation. Let me just throw it in there. It's a pattern I call the drop bucket. There's a pattern I call the dreaded H. It's a lowercase h. This just looks like an inverted Y. you got the cup at the top, little cup formation. Can't break out above the peak G. Pulls back, goes more than one-third below the lip in the cup uh, bottom. And now that says, be careful because there's a really good chance that it's going to retest the 1424 level of uh, the 26th of September. So those are the patterns we're looking at. Now there's another very easy thing that you can do. It's called a trend line. I like to use the most hit um, and most obvious wick lows or highs. Not the candles. The candles come in for something else. I can use the candles. And then I draw what should be a parallel Wave uh, a parallel line, a trend line, and there it is in bright red. And then I do one to the upside, which almost always impacts the upside with tremendous resistance. Now I change the color. The color is changed for what reason? Because if it breaks out decisively above this green line, that's very positive. But if it breaks down, and then what I do? I don't want to make this too messy. I'm gonna, but I want to show you what I do. You know, we just we, we want to look at patterns that repeat over and over. I also do this. 
I do this and I draw that, and that's called an inside track, Chapman Wave inside track. It says that within this upper range, you will find tremendous resistance. And every time you find resistance, it should go either to the 9 period exponential moving average or one of the other moving averages. This one here is the 20, the 20, uh, uh, no, I made it a 32, I forgot, a 32 period exponential moving average. Wow, I forgot about that. Um, which is actually better. The reason why I put it is I've noticed that the 32, now this goes back to Harkin. Holland, I'm sorry, Holland, who uh, often talks at the uh, Investors Business Daily or the, uh, they call it now the Boston uh, investors group, which I will be talking at on the 24th, uh, Wednesday the 24th, uh, here at MIT in Massachusetts. I'll be giving a, a, an hour presentation or so. Um, so Harlan often does, and he's the one that introduced me to the 32 period exponential moving average, which I just put in background. I said, you know, I, I don't know about that. I love the 20, I love the 50, but more importantly, of the 9 and the, and the 200, those are the most important. Well, I did a lot of work about three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, and I suddenly found that the 32 was giving me so much information that I wanted to include it. Of course, by now I'd already forgotten that that's a 32. But look how nicely the 32s contain the price within the spectrum of what's happening here with the E-mini. So I'm going to keep it on. In fact, you know what I'll do just for fun? I'm going to change the color so I can see it better. Let's just make it a little bit darker. Uh, let's make it... Not good. Let's make it... There you are. Let's see what happens there. All right, that's good. Now what's going on is that you've got... You got repelled. The S&P Mini, E-Mini, got repelled from the upper inside track re repellent line. This is called the sell zone or repellent zone. And it's heading towards where? It's heading towards the inside track propellant or buy zone, which means this is where you can assess whether you want to buy or not. Now, it happens to coincide that right at, uh, on the 15th of October, at 4.15, 14, uh, at 4.15, 14.16, point 90. Well, of course, this doesn't trade like the uh, E-min, uh, this is just a, they're trading 25 cent increments, so you won't get a 90, say 75. That would be a target if there was slow weakness going to the close today and then tomorrow. And today is the 10th. That gives it how many days? That gives it quite a few more trading days. And that gray area that I've drawn in here says that is going to be key because if it starts to close, if the E-mini closes underneath 14.13, all of a sudden you've got... 14.05 to 14.01 as really important support. So I wanted to go through a couple of things that I I, I, um, uh, I wanted to talk about. And don't forget, go to the front page. Take it to, you can go right to the front page, tfn.com. Hit that button, and right there it says, get Tiger TV. And you'll also be able to see my webinars, my webinar and Master Trader series coming up right there on the front page. And Misha Tiger Donalds. I'll be back at 877-927-6648. TFNN and Great Panther Silver have teamed up for another exciting silver giveaway. The Great Panther Silver Halloween giveaway will be taking place at the end of October, and for three full days, we'll be giving away silver coins and bars every hour from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. to one lucky winner randomly chosen. There's no purchase necessary. For more information and to fill out your registration form today, simply visit the front page of TFNN.com where you'll find all the details. October 29th, 30th, and 31st, we'll choose one lucky winner that will receive a silver coin or bar courtesy of Great Panther Silver. Winners will be announced live on the air each hour for three full days. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to win free silver from TFNN and Great Panther Silver. Register today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and for more information on Great Panther Silver, you can click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex, symbol GPL, or on the Toronto Stock Exchange, symbol GPR. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. 
bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 80% of traders fail because they don't know when to get in or out of a market, and all because no one taught them how to read the signs. You see, the stock market has a universal language called Japanese candlesticks, and each day, the buyers and sellers, the bulls and bears, go to work and build signs. This language has been around for thousands of years, and it's easy to learn. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters Show, and I'm a master sign builder. Download my free report, Candlesticks, The Speed of Trust, on the homepage of TFN.com for one of the best-kept candlestick secrets. I'll also be conducting an online course Friday, October 19th, to teach you the language of the market's sign builders. You'll learn the best entry and exit techniques and strategies that will create extraordinary rewards. The course will be archived so you can review it as many times as you like because trading or investing without learning this language is like running a red light. It's an accident waiting to happen and there's no airbags or seatbelts. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN anywhere on your mobile phone. Just put TFNN.mobi on the phone's browser and TFNN Live Radio broadcast will stream on your phone anywhere in the world. As I know it's fantastic when I'm on the when I'm out doing errands or on the road or whatever, I'm always checking it out to see what's going on. I, I love uh, to watch it. Now, we had uh, in the den, uh, Joe had said he's just he's starting a position online, L-I-N-E, which is Lin Energy LLC. And what I said is um, find out for... Find out if there's a reason for today's big slide we were looking at in the in, in the last hour. That's uh, that's one thing. L I N E is the sum of this down one seventeen at forty point twenty nine. And then I also said, goofy golfer, former den member, used to sell very hard rubber gloves to catch the falling knife. Sold thousands. Chuckle, chuckle, especially in the 2008 sell-off. Remember, if you're catching a falling knife, it has a stock that's just plummeting down. You've got to look to the left side to see where the support levels are. Yes, this is starting to come into support levels. 120 minute made a peak, a rare peak G top. I call that the double camel hump. Uh, it's just with this stochastic edge, just another arch formation, and that one fails. It went to, uh, to that level at 40 to 25. Then it's gapped down and it's plunged. It's starting to find support. And where's that support? Right in the 40.02 low of 11.30 uh, on the 18th of September. If it takes that out, you just got to really be careful because you'll be looking at time and price. So you're expecting uh, probably an inside day tomorrow where it opens slightly higher and it moves higher. Uh, you know, just... You, you know what to do. You, you, you know, you've done this enough times. But I'm just saying, be a little careful. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to do, we were looking at... Um 
we were looking at, we were looking at, you know, by the time the, the break is finished, I've probably looked at three, four, five and notated a couple of charts. So I, I've already moved on. I don't even know. doesn't matter. Okay, this is trade what you see. Now let me explain what, 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 what I, I love about what, what Larry looks at. Besides the fact that he always, he's looking at um, the Gartneys and the, the, the Tiger uh, formations, you know, patterns can repeat very often, very, very often. And what I've looked at here is if I'm looking at the Qs, the NASDAQ uh, trading vehicle, that's the uh, the PowerShares um, QQQ series trust. They're trading at 67.07.19 um, lower. The weekly chart, now I've used this red background. I'm just experimenting what I can see here in the day. I'm looking at the same charts as everybody else. I'm looking at my uh, TFNN.mobi. I'm looking at it in, in, on my cell phone. I'm looking to see what comes out clearly because I, I want you to be able to, if you want, you can print these charts out. That's why I've got the white background. Uh, I, you know, I love teaching this. I love showing it. But let me look. At, let me show you what I'm looking at here. Do you see that purple line? And what I liked about the black charts is, if you if you half close your eyes, you just get you get exactly you get the price movement. You get the magnet and stochastic popping right out at you. Those the, the, the yellow and the green is it? I don't remember whatever colors I looked at for thousands of years, thousands of charts. Um, but here you you can see this. You can see it quite well but what i'm looking at here the the last time when the queues went to the high of 68.55 on the set on the 6th of april the macd was very strong the stochastic was just pulling back in the uh 96 percent area it had in fact been as much as 90 i think it went to 90 yeah 97 and the on-balance volume, the blue line, another thing that I'll be teaching in the, in the, in the courses that I do, how to use the on-balance volume. That's the, remember I said there are two things. I use volume for, um, certain spike conditions. And I use volume and, uh, as a signal. And I use volume as on-balance volume. So, you know, yeah, you have in TFN, you've got people that use volume. They talk about it. Ken talk about volume in a, Tom, it's his thing is volume. He does a lot of work with volume. And you know, each person's successful in their own way. I, it's, it's not for me to refute or do. I, I don't care. I'm, it's wonderful. I've, I've learned a little from each one of them. I try to apply it to my own thinking. But I have a specific way of using volume. I'm going to show you something. You see the week of the week of the, the 12th of August? You see that volume spike? It's red. It means that the the price was a negative price. It closed lower, and then forty nine ninety three was the low. And the very next day it was forty nine ninety nine, only six cents higher. But that volume gave me an incredible amount of information. So I'll be teaching how I use the volume and what I can do. So. Um, uh, let's see, Lynn announced today that management will host a conference called Thursday, October 25th at 10 o'clock uh, to discuss the company's third quarter results and its outlook for the remainder of the year. Prepared remarks by Mark Ellis. Yeah, um, all right, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it says, I don't know why they didn't announce right now what it is and then just go into it in detail. We'll be watching them closely. I'll be back, Basil Chapman. This is Larry Pesavento Show. We'll be back with Rick in Orlando. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air and you've seen him on Tiger TV as well as being featured as a regular CNBC guest and contributor. And now you can have access to his expert trading advice each morning through his daily trading newsletter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading stocks, options, and indices every market day. Market Insights comes out each market day before 9.30 a.m. and provides Provides traders with Tom's daily commentary, opinion, and specific trade recommendations on the markets. Using advanced Fibonacci methods, volume indicators, Gartley patterns, candlestick charting, gaps, and market timing, Market Insights will give you specific trade recommendations including entry, stop, and exit prices. The summer is over and traders are back. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. 
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to check out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Trade what you see. Larry Pesavento's show, Basil Chapman sitting in. My show is usually Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock till noon. It's the Tiger Technician's Hour. I use the Chapman Wave methodology. I show it. I show it's constructed. And uh, we, we, I... I in my opening call, we're trading stocks that are based on that methodology and had uh, some very, very tiny positions in two stocks um, that I said I wanted to buy because the, the weeklies were holding well. They were really underpriced. Uh, no, they were low price stocks. And we gave them a little bit of a nibble and we we took a tiny loss today. I, don't, I could have held them and said, you know what? They're doing okay. The weeklies are still... I don't want to be in any position right now with a market like this that can suddenly give me, even if it's a tiny position, a 20, 25% loss. I don't need it. There are so many stocks that we're trying to short. We had some, uh, I'll show you in a short while. Trade what you see. I'll show you what we were looking at, um, in, in my, uh, in my work that I show subscribers every day. I'm just trying to get here to the next, uh, so why is it not there? I should say, to the right, to the right, to the right, format, space to the right. Okay. All right, our first caller we've got is Rick in Orlando. Hi, Rick, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Uh, thanks for that uh, earlier in uh, this uh, last session here since uh, noon when you came on. Thanks for that lesson on uh, the chart you had up, uh, the, the FXE. 
I think, or no, the E Mini, E Mini, E Mini. Yes, yes. That's uh, that's the first time I've seen you uh, go through that way. That must be a partial lesson. <laughs> that was, in fact, that's well, what I love to do. I love teaching, well, and I just wanted to demonstrate the types of things that I do, and exactly. I will show in my courses that I give. Exactly, a teaser, but uh, good stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, I. I want to take a short, uh, long position in either uh, Citigroup or AT&T because they both look like they might have a little, uh, uh, when they came down, or at least T, when T came down, he came down uh, properly and then uh, broke through a swing point. But I'm, going to, show, volume. I'm huh? going to show the charts using okay. a, a black background because they've been fully notated. Uh, fortunately, I never did lose uh, any of these charts. And this is the black background. We're looking at AT&T. This is uh, a dividend-paying stock. It's a fantastic stock that has gone from a low. Well, the all-time high was back in the 59s, and that was back in 1999. And in 2000, it went uh, made a cup formation, failure pattern. I've got this all notated here. You can see the charts. I'm sliding way back. I can go back with this. This is a wonderful example of the Chapman Wave. I can go back all the way to uh, 1987. In fact, I could even go back further to the $4.91 price back in November of 83. But what's happened is it constantly makes a peak F or an E top. Yeah, I like to look at characteristics of stocks to say, what do they always do? It made that peak F top back at 1619 in January of, two th of 1990, and then it pulled back, held the nine-period moving average, walked the nine-period moving average to 23.50 on the, uh, in September of 1993, pulled back again, started a brand new move, went to peak E at 59.94. Uh, that was in January of, two th of 1999. Hmm, these January st uh, positions are very interesting. And then at 50, 59, round number high in October of 2009, it fails. I love those round numbers. I'm going to teach about round numbers. Well, I first showed my first hour today where I spoke about Apple with the 407 round number uh, open closed. And the very next day, it opened at that for us. Uh, 704, 704 round number high, and that was it. So now look at this. It pulls back from 59 to $18.85 in um, March of 2003, runs up again to a peak E at 42.97, September of 2007, plunges 51% uh, to 20.90 in October of 2008, and now it's run up again to a possible peak F, maybe a slash C, but... This is what I'm looking. This move has used up all the technical powers of the MACD and the stochastic, and yet it hasn't even gone back to the important candle of 40.70 made in May of 2008. That's the monthly. The weekly chart has a pattern that is really important, one that I've seen over and over again lately. And what is that? It's this double top pattern with a fractionally higher high and a close where well, the last close was 38.28 on the third of a uh, week of the third of August, pulls back not too bad, just pulls back to thirty six forty three, and then it runs up and it goes to where thirty nine fifty eight closes at thirty eight oh eight. That is um, a, a below the thirty eight twenty eight high that I talked about before, and it hasn't closed above it. The MACD, if you do a vertical line, the MACD and the stochastic. I'll do that as demonstration right here. The MACD and stochastic are way lower now, uh, at least over the last two weeks, than they were at the recent highs. And the stochastic's now at 80%, almost ready to go under 80%, which is really important in my work in the stochastic. MACD is already crossed negative. So I see very limited upside at this particular point. Now, the third thing is to look at the intraday, the, the monthly, the week, sorry, the daily chart. And the daily chart has got that cup and ladle. One of my least favorite patterns goes to a peak E at 38.58. The left side lip at 38 is taken out. It goes to more than one third lower than the cup to lip doji low of 36.43, which says be careful because AT&T 
If it takes, uh, if it closes, I would say if it closes under the low of today, 36.92, the target would be to test 36.43. That was the low of the 23rd of August. Now it's a dividend-paying stock, and you know that many mutual funds are looking for dividend-paying stocks, and AT&T and Verizon have been fantastic. So your question has to be, trade what you see, not what you think others might be doing. So here's what I'm going to suggest. Because of the 120-minute chart, which has broken under the 200-period moving average and has a chance right now with a stochastic at 4.62 to at least have a bounce, I'm going to say to you my bias in this in, over the next three to maybe five days will be to short AT&T, but as close as you can get to 37.62, and all you need to do is put a 38.59 buy stop on that. So now what we would do, the candle that's forming today says there's a chance that the 37.62 nine period exponential moving average would be the target if there was a bounce, but it would have to be a pretty strong bounce. What would happen if you fail to get in and it really did continue lower? So here's the plan. I can tell from your voice that you're looking for something as a position play with the chance that you can go from a daily chart to a weekly chart for more than like a swing trade. Is that correct? Well, uh, I was actually just looking for a half a point, a point, anything higher than what it's at. And then as soon as we get more weakness in the market, just turn around and short him because I'll have uh, almost a head and shoulders if he does that, if he goes up a little bit more. So you would want to actually play the upside or just wait, have patience to wait? Yeah, well, yeah, no, play the upside. Because it's looking like it's trying to form a hammer down well, there. Then, okay, we, don't need, we mustn't waste any time. If you want to play the upside, I'm going to make a suggestion. But keep in mind that all the technicals are extremely weak. But yes, you see, I don't want you to lose money on the upside waiting for a really good position to get a short. I, Correct. <laughs> I, don't want you, I don't want your thinking to be messed up by the, the long position suddenly going against you, and then you'll end up saying, oh, not only didn't I short, but I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even play the long. No, so, I, I, watch it, I watch it intraday, and I look for the intraday patterns also. Okay. And, so we're, and we're I'm, the, I'm, I'm really good at reversing position. Okay. No, that, look, that's, you know, I, I, I like that as well. I'm also very quick. I don't mess around. Now, this is what I want you to do. If you want to take a trade right now, the stop has to be just a little under today's low of 39.97. So okay. let's just say, I think it's reasonable to have about a 15 to 20 cent stop if you're looking for a play that's going to take you above, it's at 40.05, that's going to take you decisively over the 40.339 period moving average in the 120, in the 10 minute chart. Okay. So here's what I'm going to recommend. And really, I do it because. It will be very good experience, but I don't know if it's going to be a good trade. <laughs> well, that's why we put stops in and to protect our So this our is capital. what I'd recommend. Yeah. You can do one of two things. <clears throat> you can either just nibble on it right here at 40.05, and if you really just nibble on it, you can make it a little bit wider stop. Instead of 39.97, you can make it 39.87. But this is what I really want to see. It's more important to what I want to see. I want to see by the day's end, by today at uh, 4 o'clock, that 18... Oh, I'm looking at line. Whoa. Oh, just as well I remembered. Oh, I thought that there must be something happening. I recognize it was the wrong chart. I have laid A up in the 10-minute chart. That's much easier. 37.09. Funny that the prices were so close. 37.09 is where it's at. 37.10 right now. Right. I'm going to make a suggestion that says a nibble right here, and you can add another little nibble if it crosses 30. 7.20. Uh, yes, 37.20. Which, yes, which is just above. It's starting to form intraday a little ABC up. Correct. Possibly. Possibly. Correct. possibly. Right. And that's, how, that's what I was hoping to take advantage of. But next. the MACD hasn't yet gone to 80%. If it was holding at 80%, I'd have no qualms. I'd say, great. But it's only okay. at 66. So that's a, a starter position. Now, what okay. you want, um, now let me get rid of this. Now you want to go to the 120-minute chart, which okay. is... 120 minute chart of T, which is 
Yes, okay. I'm getting signs that say it's at least attempting a, a turnaround now. It's not, a, it's not a, a turnaround, it's just attempting it. And that says that if it's able to get to 37.34 by this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon, uh-huh. You've got yourself a nice play. Then what I'm going to recommend is, can we go back to the black chart? I'm going to recommend that the moment, oh, in 37.40 is the 200-period exponential moving average, which was meaningless until it fell back down, and it tested it back, that whole area of testing from um, from the 21st of August into the breakout on the 5th of September, it took quite a while. When it eventually broke out, that 200-period moving average was like magic. Now it could turn out to be resistance, and that's what I'm thinking. If it okay. can go to 37.33 to 37.40, that's the area where I'm suspecting, in that area, you're going to see signs that there could be a turnaround. 37.62 would be the maximum. If it goes about 37.70, you're just going to have to wait a little longer. Then it's only going sideways. But if it has a sudden spike, gets to the 37.40, 37.62 area, immediately I would raise the stop on the little nibble positions that you've got here. No right. big position on this. This is just a counter trend rally. Just put it and right I up would, underneath it. <laughs> and, right. And have a trading stop or a, 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 two different stops and then i would switch to one small short position okay cool. right there and that has to do with again with that 200 uh the resistance i'm going to see as a result of that 200 correct which okay. is like a magnet right now a it's magnet. a repellent okay. magnet line it's a magnet but it can easily bounce right off of it then hey that's exactly It'd be a repellent okay. and come right back to, just squeak above it or just touch it or get close and then it's like when you take a magnet and you reverse it you know yes. it pushes yes. away the iron that's oh, exactly yes. what happens exactly oh thanks so much uh basil that's that's good. As I watch it right now, if he shows, like I said, a continuation of trying to uh, create a little bitty intraday, uh, I'm looking at a five-minute, three-day, uh, a little bitty ABC up, when he shows like he's going to go up a little bit to, to make a, a ABCD, head towards D, I'm going to pull the trigger for a little bit and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, you might not. You, I, I don't know if you're going to get the full wave count because it's a counter-trend rally. Counter-trend rallies can fail at a peak C. And a peak C, if it fails, that's very positive for you because that's very bearish. Okay. Okay. All right. So well, thank just you, uh, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, and, and, and here's another thing. Yep. I don't want you to miss out on the trade because I'm looking at the weekly chart. So... Could you, as a counter to this whole thing, almost separate like there's another person in the room, just nibble on a short position right here? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, so you're playing the positive, but that's a different time frame. But at the same time, I don't want you to miss out on this, because if it fails, uh, and if AT&T goes down, we're looking now at dividend stocks that are starting to, to go down. That's a big negative. And my weekly chart says, don't mess around with 20 cents or 30 cents. Look at the big picture. And I would say to you that you could start a tiny position and put a stop in at 38.58. And the other okay. thing's almost separate to that. Okay. Yes, I, I do have other positions that are already uh, short and getting ready to short because I'm watching Apple real close and the FXE. And uh, it, things are getting weak. So I'm prepared with some other orders, saved orders, to, to do Great. exactly that. And but in the meantime, I'm at home, home alone, and uh, the devil, you know, the uh, and, uh, idle hands of the devil's workshop. So I said, "Well, this looks like a, this looks like a long." <laughs> <laughs> oh, good idea! Yes, yes, I change horses up in my brain. I have to do that. I know. Yes, I have to do and it that's a, too. I, I've got the same thing. I've got long stocks and I've got short stocks. I, I've got a split personality, and I'm trying to keep that separation to the chart <laughs> pattern that I see. Well, we Thanks, have sir. to. Okay, but yeah, we have to trade what we see, Basil, not what we think should happen. Absolutely. Thanks for calling, Rick, and great Thank ideas. Thank you, sir. Rick from Orlando. Okay, bye. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. Big shoes to fill. Doing my best. I'll be right back. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. 
Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesamento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Hi, right, folks. This is the last segment. I've got a couple of questions here. One is from Chris who emailed, uh, wants to know about uh, uh, crude oil prices. So I'm going to do that. But first, let me do this. FCX, another one in the den, was asked for. Um, that is his McMoran, McMoran Copper and Gold B shares. There's a pattern that I look at, and that says if it goes to a, a, what I call a right arm extension where the technicals are fading, but it still keeps going up, especially if it goes to an E or an F, which it did uh, at 43.65 with a round number opening on the 9th, on the 14th of September, got to be careful. So it comes down where to the 200 period moving average, which was resistance, now support. But there's a technique, though, I haven't had a chance to do it. Maybe if I if, maybe on my show tomorrow I'll do it. I'll show my CD introducing the chapter wave methodology. The, when you go very quickly from a trough 
in this case on the 26th of September, to a quick peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, which is today if there's no new high, you can always expect a bit of a pullback. The bit of a pullback doesn't mean to say it's, it's a major sell. But when the stochastic is failing at 65% and the MACD hasn't even turned positive, FCX says to me that there's a really good chance that if it weakens by the end of the day or tomorrow and it takes out, oh, anywhere between, it's at 40.03, if it breaks under 39.50 and then under 39.05, so in other words, the whole 39s, if that becomes just momentary support, but it breaks under it, you've got that pattern that I call the dreaded H, and this is coming down even further. The weekly chart says 37.68 will be the next key support for FCX. So I'm watching that real closely. Now crude oil. Let's go to the CLZ. Now people trade all these different months. I don't know. I don't trade it. I don't know what months are being traded. All I can say is, hmm... Have I got CLZ here? CLZ 12? No. Oh. oh, oh, wait a minute. Weekly. Get rid of these. Get rid of those. No, I don't have it. Okay. So here it is. In the, with the black background, what I'm looking at is the monthly chart made a major peak D top in uh, July of 2008 at 143.13. It comes plunging down to a doji low of 60.10 February of 2009. It goes peak A, B, C, D, E, pulls back, the MACD is still positive, it spirals up to the most recent high of 112.14 May of 2011, pulls back, bounces up, can't take out that high, has a silent doji candle that says, be careful, you are likely to test the recent low, which was 78.55. Well, it goes back to 79.12. Now, this rally that we're seeing in the in the in the uh, week and the monthly chart says, I'm making smaller moves. It's getting harder and harder to make these big moves to the upside. That's number one. Number two is, in the a weekly chart, you had, I'll just do. Oh, is that the music? A, B, C, D, the P, D top right there. I'm going to say one quick thing as we're going out, and I'll follow it up tomorrow. If crude oil takes out 90, 95 on the upside, that will be very positive. But be careful. If it breaks under 90.82, it's at 90.17 now. That's a very big negative. It's going to test the lows of 88. Hey, Basil Chapman sitting in for Atlanta Presidential. 